guys and welcome to my channel I totally forgot what what I was gonna say but yeah welcome back to my channel and today I am going out to clubbing so I thought it would be fun to get like get ready with me type of video a video my hair is showered and my skin is all prepped not primed but I have moisturizer on I'm also in my PJ so the, no judging here okay yeah let's just get into the video right away because I hate long intros like that's the most hateful thing I hate in this world no I forgot to wet my beauty blender Be right back It's matching. <laughs> I just need to sand something. Okay, I'm done. So the first thing I'm gonna do is obviously prime. There's someone walking with a boat. So I'm gonna use this. Wow, I feel like a YouTuber. I'm gonna use this two face primer. So a lot of people have seen my first video that I work with and people that I know about and know who I am. Let me tell you something, it's embarrassing. It's very awkward and the one guy that I'm working with said like the video was so cringe <laughs> but he still watched the whole thing. So you know, I'm glad that I'm being supported and a lot of people have been telling me like I like your video, la la la, la 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 la. <laughs> They're looking forward to my next video and I like that, I like that people kind of are supporting me like they're supporting me, I guess. <coughs> My camera is so good, it's so good. I'm trying. I literally, literally need to stop saying um. So yeah, now she ready. The foundation that I'm gonna use today is actually like a little tester kind of guy. This is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Because I'm very sick of using um, drugstore, so my skin wasn't kind of feeling like the drugstore vibe anymore. So I went to buy, you know, an exclusive, a bougie foundation. But I don't want to just buy it and don't know what it's going to be like, how it's going to, you know, perform on my skin. So I got a tester and I've been testing it out for three days. I like it, but I'm not sure because, you know, it is... 60 bucks for a foundation and it's expensive, you know. Yeah, girl ain't got that much coins. So today I think I'm gonna use the 1N. I think that's gonna be a bit too dark actually. Or like the zero. So I got the 1N and the zero N. But the zero N is like literally empty. I guess we just have to go with the 1N. Don't think that I'm weird because I'm smelling my brushes because I have two of these because these are like the James Charles one and one I used for the Wet n Wild which smells like paint and one of these I used for the Dior which smells like heaven so this is the one and we can maybe mix these two oh, no. so let's go I'm gonna put some I'm just gonna take my booty blender. Just gonna blend this out. Yeah, that is like <laughs> that is definitely too dark, honey. And it makes my skin look all red, but <laughs> what else? So if you've seen me from um, Real Rapunzel's channel, you've probably seen my makeup routine or like what you would call it because someone requested that, so I made one. But I did, I don't remember what products I used actually, I think I used the NYX foundation, I think. So if you remember, I did wear some individual lashes because I had lash extensions and that just messed my whole life up. <laughs> And <coughs> and 
a little update for you guys. Or it's, it was a decent color. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not like good, you know. My lashes were pretty ru ah, ruined. They were like, oh, <laughs> that was not intentional. <sighs> They were all like breaking off and like in different lengths and some of them like really short and some of them were like my normal size and some of them were just like not thriving. But now they're all grown back. They're all living and thriving, luckily. Um, so if you have uh, if you have lash extensions or considering taking it, just remember when you're removing it, go to a professional, okay? <laughs> go to the place that you got your lash extensions to get them removed because I removed them by myself because my lash girl, she did not reply to my messages which is very unprofessional actually because I wanted a new set, I wanted to like keep filling but she never answered me and I was like, girl and she just left me on red, like literally left me on red and I was like, okay, what the f so my lashes started to fall out by themselves, right? and they just look crusty I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Because like all the other lash artists in the town are not really that good because I went to like the best one. She just stopped answering my texts and I was like, okay, well, uh, I guess I have to just remove them myself, right? That was a stupid decision. I took coconut oil. No. I took bio oil. I don't have this right here, but like an oil that makes your skin better or something like uh, stretch marks or like whatever that is i used that all over like my lashes i just soaked them in there and just you know i was good like at one point i was like you know, really careful with them and just like poking them out like one by one and if it you know started to hurt a bit i was like no i'm gonna wait but that took more than half an hour and i was like i'm tired like <laughs> i want to i want them gone now be gone I took like the lashes and I just ripped them off literally just and when I ripped them off I noticed that instead of gluing like one lash on like if these are your lashes right you're not supposed to take two lashes and you know take one extension on two you're supposed to take one on one but this girl who I thought had her together she had three or four of my lashes stuck on one and I was like okay and I lost so many of my natural lashes you guys you have no idea and I was so embarrassed like I stopped wearing mascara I had to like wear individual lashes and even that looked kind of weird so I don't know about this color hmm. now it's definitely too pink I think I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna buy the Zero N because like it's a very good foundation I will say like I love it because it's like making your skin you know glow I'm a person with dry skin let me just put it out there like dry skin coming your way right so what I always have to do before um, applying makeup is like scrubbing my skin like and also apply like five pounds of moisturizer because my nose it's like always like um, not cracking up but the foundation won't really go on and when it goes on it looks um, all cracky you know it's like skin that is like just falling off and yeah definitely I don't know like I like this color because you know I'm not planning on going any lighter than I already am because I am as light as a freaking toilet paper I am in the middle of like tanning but I haven't tanned in three weeks I think the reason why I'm tanning is not because I want to get more tanned it's actually because of my skin and my acne um, because I have acne if you saw my last video I had a lot of acne scars and I still do I have a lot of acne scars you can see right here <sighs> I actually forgot what, <laughs> what I was gonna say, but anyways, yeah, tanning, right? So I tan because I want to, like, <laughs> when I'm tanning, my acne kind of disappears because I don't know what type of acne I have, but when my skin gets exposed of, like, sun and, like, you know, that kind of good vibe, 
like my acne just is like out the door so when I'm getting pale and I haven't been in the sun or like tan for a while my skin tends to act like a that's why I'm tanning and also you know because I'm tanning I get darker <laughs> not darker but less white that's why I kind of want to buy this shade because I'm not planning on going any lighter but I have to buy the zero N shade I did wear the zero N shade I felt like not oxidized but like when I wore it like throughout the day I think I wore it for like nine hours it started as like you know this pinkish neutral color right but at the end of the day it was like yellow and I was like hmm interesting so Maybe I'll go for the Zero N, but also it kind of make my skin, which is very dry, look very, not oily, but kind of oily. So I kind of want to uh, test out the regular Your Skin Forever. Okay, I've been blending this shit for way too long. Let's move on. Just have to make sure that everything is blended. Okay. Time for some concealer. So in my last video, in my last video, in my other makeup, um, in my other makeup tutorial video thing, I said I did not wear concealer, and I still kind of don't, but I kind of do, but I kind of don't. But right now I'm using like this. I'm just smashing this on just to kind of brighten my eyes because <laughs> guess who didn't sleep last night? That was me. Like, you know, you get into this like hole of just watching videos and then you're like, oh, what, what, what's the time, you know? And then all of a sudden the time's like 6 a.m. and I'm like... But then you're in the middle of like a really fun video so you can't really not watch it. So you kind of have to just watch it and then all of a sudden the clock is like 7 and you're like <laughs> I have to be up in like freaking 5 hours I slept in and I slept in a lot more than I actually was planning on I don't think this lighting is any good I need to buy like beauty lighting Be a bit here And the foundation smells so good Like I've only been using like drugstore foundation for maybe the last six months I think so when I got this bougie foundation I was like <coughs> in heaven and I'm sick by the way so if I sound like a goat that's probably why but I always sound like a goat so I guess what's new okay let's just blend this out all right now it's time for some cream contour I'm using the still the one that I actually used in the video which is the sleek face contour la 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 <laughs> <laughs> la 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 <laughs> Ooh, almost dropped it I'm just gonna take it on a brush like I did the last time It's not really like the routines are like still the same But I guess the products kind of changed up a bit I'm kind of sick and tired of like always doing the same products But again, I'm like ugh, Like I like to stick to my products that I know work Because I don't want to be trying out new products that are like not working but also, if you try new products, you can kind of get a new favorite. Okay, my boyfriend's parents got home and they have a baby. So if you hear some someone crying, that's probably be because the baby's crying. And now I also have to be a bit quiet because or else they will hear me and that will be just awkward. You know, I got one mirror right there. And I also have like the viewfinder and I have a mirror right here. That mirror is giving me like, mm, you look good, honey. And this one is like, you look very white. And then this mirror, this is the mirror of truth. It's like, honey, you thought, right? So, um, I actually thought, I actually thought. So I don't know what to do with the situation because I thought I looked good, but in this mirror, ooh, ooh. I don't know what's going on with my skin. I, it looks oily and cakey. Now we're done with that. Um, I'm just gonna head down and grab a 
powder that I forgot in my jacket so I'll be right back all right I'm back so in the get to know me video I said that I live at my mom's place but I also kind of or I do live with my boyfriend um, which they've said his parents house yeah I'm kind of living with his parents as well so I kind of just have to be a bit quiet because I don't want to disturb anyone or anything and my boyfriend is not home right now he's at work so it's just me I feel like I got like so much more quiet just because they got home but it's awkward to kind of be all bubbly and like <laughs> and then they're like right below me being like what's she talking about or like who's she talking with you know but we are moving out um me and my boyfriend like together in july i think or at the beginning well, beginning of august because you know i'm going to school and the school that i'm going to is in another like i guess you can call it state but it's not like a state but it's like kind of it's like an hour drive from my city i don't know if you can see this um but my nose is like all nasty oh yeah i forgot i am setting my face using the laura mercier translucent powder just like in my other video and if you haven't seen that video go and watch it the link will be down below because i'm doing the same thing except that it's real rapunzel's channel not mine and i know i mentioned um that i'm not going to be posting hair videos on my channel but i will for those who are fans of uh, my hair and my videos because i know there are some of you guys out there so i'm not gonna be like not posting hair videos right i'm gonna still be posting hair videos but not as much because i want real rapunzels to have kind of that moment of moment of joy <laughs> so they're gonna be like exclusive my hair my hair video is going to be exclusive just for them. I'm still going to be making hair videos for them. But I will be I will be posting something on my channel, of course. So, now I'm just going in with the this one. In the shade 105. And I'm just using this to bake, I guess. I'm just going to take this under this board and just drag it. I'm just gonna use this to kind of lighten up the areas I want to lighten up a bit I'm not really sure if I want to go in with it under the eyes because whenever I apply too much powder or too much thing around my eyes like I get a lot of texture texture <gasps> I don't, I'm gonna take some down the neck just to blend it out a bit Let's move to bronzer slash contour. I'm gonna use this kit once again. Same thing, same bougie thing. Not bougie, affordable. When I feel like I have to be quiet, I get so boring. Like I'm, I like to make videos when I'm all alone and know that I am alone, so I can be like all bubbly and loud. But right now I am so not bubbly and not loud. I'm not talking about Jojo Siwa kind of loud, but I'm talking about you can actually hear me talking and I like. I swear to God, this mirror right here is like bomb that comes this, and this is like mm, you look you look good. Can't really tell, and always this mirror that I'm holding is like haha, <laughs> sis, you thought. <laughs> I don't know. There's like a streak right here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but honey, honey, it literally looks like I just dragged this like this. I don't know. I also think I need to switch up my brush because this one is starting to like stab me. It's not really that old either. We're gonna move to blush. And I'm gonna go in with those, this old crusty. I don't even know what brand it is. I've had it for too long. And I remember in my other video, I used this and the blush that is in here. But I figured out that 
the combo made my skin look like metallic, I guess. So I'm just missing this. I actually forgot I need to just lightly like contour ish my nose. Just gonna do that there. Okay. Like ugh, James Charles, how do you do this? I think I'm just removing my makeup. I can always go in with some more. I squished my arm. Okay, you know what? I'm all out of energy. Whatever, whatever. Now, I said in my other video that if you want like a kind of blinding but not like a blinding highlighter, you can do your highlighter like, uh, like just go in and just But today, since I'm going out clubbing, I want a beaming highlighter. A highlighter that you can see from out of spice. So I am going to, ooh, ooh, fun fact, this palette right here, I dropped it. And little did I know that there are magnetic pants. Pants? <laughs> pants. So, you see this shade bronzed? All of the shades just fell right out. Right out of this little board thing. And I was like, I thought I broke it, right? Because I thought that the pants were like glued to this like, what do you call it, component? I don't know. I don't know. Honey, we're just gonna spray this thing. Just go, go right in. Now, this is the time where I would normally go in and do my eyebrows my eyebrows but I'm all out of my eyebrow pen mm. okay for the look that I'm going for today is like a bronzy but also with a wing and some false lashes but for that look to be like a dramatic look I need eyebrows but you know what I'm gonna do a look and then I'm gonna see if I need eyebrows uh, I'm just gonna at least set them because I hate when they are being all full of foundation and just nasty. I'm just gonna get rid of this crisp lips and go in with this next one in the shade London. I stretch so much, I literally. <laughs> I do say this. You feel it over you. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, plan A. Overdraw my lips to make it match. Or overdraw my lips. That's what we're gonna do. Because maybe this was the purpose. <laughs> They're still crusty. Are you kidding me? I guess that happened. I look like a clown. Hello. <coughs> okay, I don't want to stress more with this lip because I'm supposed to be there in less than two hours and I don't even know what, what I'm wearing. I don't know how to get there because like I can't drive my own car obviously, but how would I get my car back home because I'm going to work tomorrow so like I kind of have to figure that out because I know my boyfriend will come get me like when I'm out clubbing but all right let's just start with the look I guess so I think I'm gonna go with, with the modern renaissance palette probably the shade the only shades that I'm using which is this and this and then maybe just hit the center with some of the bronze color in here or 
I can create a fun look. Unleash your inner artist. It's tough, like some people are like, oh, I'm going out, I'm gonna do this look, right? I admire those people. Now, I'm just gonna go for like my everyday because when I get drunk, if I have a flawless face, like my makeup is looking like and I get drunk, I will look like a freaking wreck. So let's go. <sighs> you know what I'm most mad at is that I've used an hour to film this. I now know the struggle beauty girls go through. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take um a little brush. I'm just gonna dip into these two and just do 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 just boop, and just go into the crease. Now I am not a beauty girl or a makeup artist or anything like that. I'm not even good at makeup, so oh my god. I cannot drink today. I haven't eaten. I woke up, took a shower, had to clean this room because I didn't want no Body to judge me because this room is hella messy and then I needed to start filming because or else I would be just late more of the story is that I haven't eaten yet and it's 5 p.m. and I'm going to drink at 7 fun we're gonna see how I'm gonna like if I'm gonna survive tomorrow or not This is not even. Yeah, and that concludes the look, guys. If you want this look, so just, just kidding. Blending is key, y'all. Blending is actually quite boring, but it is brutal. No, what? Fatal. Like, if you go out the house looking like deals. probably get some looks and remember like back in like the 90s like people did this kind of makeup they were like swoop and they were like good to go but right now people are like so talented i am shook at them like give me half of your talent please because i need it This one is way more high blended than this one. <laughs> okay. I think we're you know, we're not done blending, but sort of. So I'm gonna take this shade bronze. I'm just gonna take it on my feet, like do. It's very like. Ooh. I actually don't remember what kind of eye look I did in my other makeup video. I'm just gonna take like a small detail brush. And I'm just gonna go in with the shade Moonstone. And just go in at the inner corners. I'm gonna go with a black liner. This one is from Wet n Wild. Like, how do people do this? Like, this is. <laughs> when people are like, oh, this isn't painful. Like, you guys, no. Like, I'm crying every time I'm doing this. So, don't come here telling me that it ain't painful. It is. It's very painful. How do people do this? Like this is oh no. Oh no. Okay, I need to take this seriously, okay. Ah, ah. Never trust yourself. Now I can spell them out if I still try. Cause I don't care as long as you're there. I'm done. Hey girl, what's good? Can you feel the love tonight? No, I can't because my makeup is ugly. We're almost done, you guys. Almost done. I hate 
take when like when like the eyeliner gets in like your waterline underneath. I mean, it could be worse. It's not good, but it's not bad. It's like right in the middle. I never draw my eyeliner this close to my inner corner, but I am today because I'm wearing full sashes and I don't want that, you know, edge to be showing. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Thank you. I'm gonna use the Paradise Mascara. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Hold The closer I get, the further you go. I wanna know. I wanna know. You know what? I know why like beauty girls are like, I'm gonna do mascara and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Like, I understand that now. Like, I'm getting like dark. Like, <sighs> not dark. I'm just gonna do mascara and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. Um, I'm not good at makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not But this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm also wearing these like Yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be wearing tonight. Oh I'm Sitting on my hair, but yeah, if you like this video, please smash that like button and like if you like my nails. Thank you for staying till the end. I know this video is probably gonna be so long. So if you stay till the end, comment a heart emoji. And also subscribe if you like my video and like my video. And if you want to see more from me, hopefully you will. I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.